G'day, how you going? Welcome back for some more green and gold. Alrighty, so it's time to see how the Tiff Tuff is settling in. Let's have a look, eh? So it's not looking too bad at all, none too shabby. So uh, we're starting to see some nice growth, which is cool. Uh, I've just jumped down there and see if I could pull up the, um, to pull up the sod. But no, she's, um, she's pretty well bedded in, which means the roots have now developed far enough into the, into the loam that we can uh, give it a mow. So today's Sunday, so it's been down for about nine days now. And uh, yeah, it's not looking too bad. You might be able to see up in this corner here, we've got a bit of a casualty. So I don't think the sprinkler was quite getting that bit. We'll have to fix that in winter time. So uh, we can also see that the construction joints or the joints between the, the, um, the rolls are sort of starting to disappear a little bit and uh, it's starting to look pretty good, so pretty cheering about that. Let's jump down and have a look, eh? Alrighty, you can see we're starting to get some decent growth here now, which is cool. So uh, I'd say we're around about that 30 mil uh, leaf height. So uh, I, need to get a, I need to get the mower out and give that a chop. Now I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna mow this and it's probably gonna scalp. So there's gonna be sections that are lumpy and bumpy and it's gonna look a little bit ratty for, a fair, for our first few mows. But that's all right, you know, there's, there's a few lumps and bumps in it, but we can smooth that out and say, six to eight weeks with some top dressing to try and get it nice and flat again. So uh, you'll notice I can't pull up um, any, of the, any of the rolls. So that means the roots have now developed into the soil profile. So for the first week, I watered uh, four times a day, seven, 11, three, and seven. Uh, then after that, I've gone to once a day. So I'm now uh, once a day for about 10, 15 minutes. And then after this week, I'll probably go back to once a week, uh, nice, long and slow waters. We need to ease it into that because we need to let our roots develop deep enough so that they can uh, keep the lawn alive. Before we go breaking out the mole, there's one more important step. Here she is, the old Massey. I'm going to um, I'm going to dedicate this to be my front lawnmower only. I don't need a whole lot of lawnmower out the front because it's only 50 square meters. So this old girl should do the trick. I tell you, she's a rip rip snorter of a mower. I've had it for 17, 18 years, and it has not missed a beat. I think the only thing I've had to replace on it is the pull start mechanism. So uh, mate, it's barely missed a beat, eh? I'm going to give this a fair income clean. That's because. Um, Kaikuya can be quite aggressive in the way it reproduces. So being rhizominous and with stolons as well, um, I don't want that cross contamination. So I don't want Kaikuya popping up in my tip tuff out the front. So I'm gonna give this a fair income clean with the goonie and uh, knock off all of the Kaikuya I can see on this bad boy. Um, so we're not having that cross contamination. Otherwise I'll be out the front with the roundup and big spots in my front lawn and be no good. So, all right, let's get into it, eh? Alrighty, so before tipping these bad boys on their side, just remember we want to find top dead centre of the piston so we can stop oil from leaking everywhere. So we can do that by just ripping on this cord till it goes tight. So we'll go through a couple of times. It's a bit tight there. It's tight there, right there. So I reckon we're top dead centre. When you're pressure cleaning these bad boys, just be careful around this area here. You know, the flux capacitor is very sensitive. Now, you don't want to get water inside your air filter and inside your exhaust, because, um, you know, water's not really supposed to go in there, so just be sensitive around those areas. But uh, yeah, I reckon she scrubbed up all right, eh? I think I've got most of the kite key out, as best I can. So, uh, let's do this, eh? When you come, everything just turns around. I get stunned by your drum.
So we finished with the first mow, and she's not looking too shabby, eh? This is really my only scalp spot here. So um, the rest of it, you know, there's spots where it goes that lime green just before you hit the crown. So um, that's probably spot on. I wouldn't want to go any harder than that because otherwise, yeah, we're going to have more scalp sections. So um, yeah, the crown doesn't have uh, chlorophyll, so it hasn't got the capacity for photosynthesis. So that's why we try and keep it a little bit higher. So in spots, you know, like this, I might be down to that sort of 10, 15 mil. And over here, you know, I might be up that 20 mil mark. So there's bits of, you know, bits of this going on everywhere. So I'm in two minds about top dressing. We're at the sticky point of this growing season now, whether I do it in a couple of months, which will be March, or do I wait till early next growing season? So I've just got to think about it a little bit. All right, next weekend, I reckon I'll be breaking out the fertilizer. So that'll be about 14 days since we installed. And uh, yeah, then we can watch it spring out of the ground, eh? I'm over the moon about this grass. Like it's just so, it, you know, it's got such a nice fine leaf. It's so nice and soft. Um, and it's really tight knit too. Off of the farm, it's really tight knit. So it's, uh, it's quite impressive. Alrighty, so it looks like we got three quarters of a catcher. So, well, that's reasonable progress, eh? I thought it wasn't gonna be quite that much, but uh, it must be growing quicker than I thought. Not too bad for a first mow. Alrighty, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You know, we've got plenty going on uh, out the front. I'll show you how I'll be taking care of the tift off and uh, plenty going on out the back as well. For your chance to be featured on the channel, please shoot through a photo of yourself wearing one of the green and gold life singies. If you haven't got one, you can hit us up on Facebook or on the emails and I'll shoot one out to you. They're about 40 bucks including postage. You'll have to send me the photo by the 13th of March um, so I can string it all, get, all together in a video. Alrighty, you guys do me a wicked bad favour, take it easy. I'll chat you on.